Good evening, YouTube. I am the Baldy. Thank you for joining me. I am playing some of my uh, not so great Britain. Let's fail at Britain campaign. It's actually going pretty well. It's not so much of a failure anymore, even though I did mess up a few things, like my first bloody idea group. But never mind. On the last episode, we got called into a war with Burgundy. That war has since been pieced out, and I think Flanders is now, um, yeah, has been released as a junior partner. Or was that no? What happened was I landlocked Burgundy itself by taking Picardy and Artois in a separate peace deal. Uh, Brandenburg has since um, died, and our royal marriage ended, and they became a junior partner of England. Lucky us. So let's, uh, which just put us in a, a, a um, succession war against Austria, but we have Aragon, Brandenburg, Castile, and Naples on our side. So I don't see how this is going to go badly for me. Portugal did break our alliance, though, in, uh, in, in doing, you know, in not accepting our call to arms. So that means I'm going to go and kill Portugal at some point. Um, stop them colonizing before it gets too late to stop them colonizing. So we have here 33,000 men or so, which is fine. I'm going to get my navy off of mothballing. Uh, and for now, I'm just going to have to let my troops... Ooh, uh, we've got a coalition with Thormund. Uh, truce expired with Brittany. Kildare entered into a coalition. Tyrconnell also entered into a coalition. <laughs> Um, let's put King's Country here into, and let's build a castle there. How long will it take for a castle? Uh, <coughs> 30 months. Let's put a fortress in, our, in Ireland. Uh, if only to slow them down should they decide to actually attack me. But they shouldn't do. I mean, we have, um, a, quite a few good allies. Worrisome, worrisome. So let's have a look at the coalition map mode, shall we? Uh, coalition map mode. We've got most of Ireland in a coalition with us. France might go into a coalition. Burgundy might as well. But Burgundy has a truce with me, so they can't. Yeah, they've got a truce with me till 1493. They, France might coalition me. They might come into the coalition. But I don't really care. Uh, monsters in a coalition. Truce expire with France. This might, might start failing again, everyone. We might start failing again. 64%. Uh, trade dispute Cassis Bella against Den. Oh, look, Austria's here. Hi, Austria. <laughs> Let's go down here. <coughs> I didn't expect them to come after me. Because their war goal is over here in Berlin. Go away, Scotland. I don't care. That's 22,000 troops you've got there, Austria. You must be very proud of yourself. Let's put guys in Constantin. Did, did, did. You got anyone in your war yet? No. This should be really easy. Um, this should be more than really easy. This should be golden era for culture, apparently. Good luck. Uh, good, good for us. Right. Let's get you into London quick. We'll join you up with Cromwell. Or Howard, even. Cromwell was my old better admiral. Um, and we will uh, we'll continue to protect trade in the English Channel just with the heavies now. I don't really see why I've got the heavies out. They've not got a navy, so let's let's not do that. Because thinking about it, it's, it's just going to cost me money. Um, so let's get the heavies. There's no point in paying for the heavies when they've just got you know nothing to add at the moment. So let's protect trade in the English Channel. There really is no point in having the heavies out when Austria just doesn't have anything. You know what I haven't done? I haven't set myself a time limit. So this might end up going on a bit longer than... Uh, you might have a special episode this episode where it goes on a little bit too long. Uh, there we go. Start my timer up. So, oh, you know, I'll sit down. I'll do some recording because why not? I've got a little bit of time. Uh... Artois and into Calais. They're actually... They have no cannons. France is now in the coalition. That could be an issue. What? Their military tech is military 7. And yet they have no cannons. 
I don't care about your coalition wars. I mean, Ireland can't exactly do much to me, can they? Oh, have I got a general in that? I do. <laughs> They're trying to flee. No, you won't get away from this. Yes. Cannons are just going to... Yeah, slaughtered. Then they've rolled a zero as well. We rolled really well. We got nine war score out of that. Wow. <laughs> and they're already at medium. Can I do anything else to them, maybe? I mean, they actually like me. We are friendly. <laughs> and after this, I'm going to try and ally them again. So I don't I don't want to uh, screw Austria around too much, because I would like to have them as an ally. I'm going to keep my army uh, in Chartres, I think. Oh, this coalition might prove to be entertaining, at the very least. You know, an entertaining coalition war. Thousands of people will die, but at least it'll be fun. Jeez, England's font is massive now. That's very good. Aragon's screwing Austria over there. Naples, even Naples has more men than Austria now. Naples went straight for Tyrol. Oh, I can get technology. Oh, I'm really far ahead on military tech. I, it's, I know there's more fire in that, but I'm so far ahead on military tech. I might quickly bump up London a bit more. Um, yeah, let's put London up a bit. Protestant Reformation. Oh, the Protestant Reformation's happening, guys. That's quick. So. Let's have a look at the religion map mode. Yeah, and it's right next to us, too. That could go really well, because I do want to go Anglican. Um, oh, Brandenburg's about to get attacked in some farmlands. Let's see how this goes for Brandenburg. Because Brandenburg's ideas are amazing, and I think they are actually... Oh! Brittany is uh, no longer transferring trade power. Brandenburg lost the fight, but it doesn't really matter. Da -da, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, an agent. I don't really care. You're going to go fight them in Tyrol now, eh? If they capture Tyrol, I will be very impressed. Naples has a three-star general. I can have more tech now if I want. I don't... I can't... Right, so let's have a look at my development map mode. Um, so Shrewsbury. I'll give you two ticks of military points. Gloucester, two ticks of military. Two ticks of military. Um, and Chester, because it's the biggest state, so to speak. And I just... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll develop our lands a bit more. If, so, how much development do I have out of just curiosity? I've got 484 total development. Um, we have 50 provinces and 41 non-overseas cores. Oh, I'm actually getting quite a bit of... Uh, well, 0.2%, but still enough for me to send someone to Khan. Kane. So, is Austria going to attack Naples here? Uh, Brittany is now in the coalition. I don't really care too much. I've got so many good allies that really like me that it's yeah they they like me. So in fact, we'll improve relations with Castile and with oh Portugal's no longer my ally, are they? I actually just have I'm just allied with Castile, but that should be more than enough because they've got Aragon and Naples behind them. And then I'm going to try and get back my uh, peace with Aust my, my alliance with Austria after this. Uh, they're trying to take Berlin. So let's uh, stop them before they get the war goal. So, Burgundian succession. Uh, white peace. No one gains or loses anything. <laughs> so I believe all I have to do is get them to give me white peace. And that means I will keep Brandenburg as my uh, 
I could give them that. I could concede defeat, and they will get a union with Brandenburg. So I have the union, so white peace is fine. I will have some war reps though, Austria, since you declared war on me. Um, and I will also have all your money. No, not all your money. How much money are you willing to give me? You're willing to give me 207 ducats. Sure. Brandenburg Succession War. Victory. There we go. Austria be forced to give me war reps and some ducats. Uh, Brandenburg, you are still my vassal, my uh, junior partner, and you've got a liberty desire of very little as well. That works really well for me. Um, so, Brandenburg, let's... Uh, <coughs> oh, you've got a debt. Let's pay off your debt. So you no longer have any loans. And then let's make you supportive. So you can come stick by me and then just give me your amazing troops in battles. So the Age of Discovery is going to end soon. Which is a shame because I've I just got in my Justified Wars and I never actually got to make use of it. Uh, Austria. You want to get back into an alliance? Even though you're paying me for the privilege, really. It was a very short war. We had one very bloody battle where I killed thousands of them. Uh, there we go. Offer an alliance to Austria. Boom. Perfect. Yeah, that works out really well for us. Uh, it's not worth risk. Let's just... Um, Calais, lose some ducats, gain some corruption. Flanders will hate me. But I get a card. It doesn't really matter. So I'll get the Spy Master. <coughs> 1493 I have to worry about Burgundy. But I'm going to have to sit still and calm down for a bit. Because we've got a, a rather large coalition that I'm going to have to deal with. Coalition that I'm going to have to... There it is. Yeah. It's It's doable. The only real issue is that France is in it. And I want the coalition to die down before Burgundy feels the need to join. But saying that, I have some really good allies that really like me. Let's go and improve relations with Austria because I did just, you know, ruin their economy. And just like that, we have an amazing uh, little junior partner over here. Um, Picardy is now our core. And Artois is going to follow. Culture, Walloon. That's a strange name for a culture. I'm not going to be Defender of the Faith, no. How's the Protestant Reformation going? Yeah, Center of the Reformation. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, let's get this uh, Reformation on the go. Brabant claims something, something. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. What's Denmark up to? Are they are they trying to get their vassals integrated yet? Golden era. <laughs> so Portugal's like, oh shit, they've got things happening. We need to get a golden era. So if I was to declare war on, they would go for an alliance with me again. But I'm not going to. You see, I'm no longer friends with Portugal. They're not exactly. Oh, for Christ's sake! I mean. The nation of Castile, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Castilian conquest of Toulouse against France and Provence. Uh, this is a war they have started. France's ally with Scotland, the Papal State, and Gallery. We would join as a regular ally. So, I'd have to fight the Papal State, the French, and the Scottish. <laughs> Castile. Oh, Castile. Um, so, the... Uh, <laughs> oh, I got a text there. Quibbles just found out the the twist in Kingdom Come Deliverance. Congratulations, proper quibble. Uh, everyone, everyone, give a thumbs up for the video for proper quibble. So yeah, sure, another war. Um, let's get my um, unmothballed heavies. Ah, uh, for crying out loud! Right, who am I at war with? So who's the war? France, Gaudi, Provence, and Scotland. Castile, Aragon, Brandenburg, England, and Naples. 
We got Brandenburg in on this. This is going to go very well for us. So let's have a look. Yeah, you got these two little provinces over here that I think is Gelra, yeah, which is going to be really easy. I might just go siege his capital out. Actually, let's go and tell Brandenburg to siege that out. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Um, I guess I will deal with these. So, there is a way, I think, to tell Castile uh, that I want certain land. But I don't know how. Show opinions, Castile. I don't know. I, I don't know how I can... Uh, I can do that. I'll have to look that up, look that up. But hopefully, if I just siege some stuff, he'll give it to me. Because it doesn't matter too much due to the fact that I've just got no real way of um, getting the land without a massive coalition forming straight away. Uh, hopefully, Paris won't start sieging me straight away because I'm going to need to go take care of the Scottish. Uh, let's go to Sussex. Yeah. Let's get all the army over to Sussex. Oh, no, my general chose a really bad time to fucking die. I mean, France has to deal with a lot of forts to get through to me, so I'm not too concerned. Right. You, Ernest Blake. You. Uh, let's get you a new leader. See what we get. Edward Fairfax. You are frigging amazing, Edward Fairfax. Where are you off to? You're off to there. So we will go up north. Get you guys together. They're still fixing the heavies. We'll still allow them to fix the heavies. Uh, the Age of Discovery is coming to an end. I already know that. Yeah, we'll make this um, a very nice and new way of doing things. Where is the Castilian army? How many men do they have? Where are they? Uh, Castile military uh army call it comparison allies and war enemies so castile actually has more siege ability defensiveness professionalism so we scotland has a better quality army than me apparently um but where are they is what i want to know they've got 18000 troops somewhere so, in total, they've got 24,000 to 21,000. I've got 34,000. I'm bringing the massive punch here, aren't I? In fact, looking at the war, we've got 60... They're just outnumbered. There's no way that this is going to go wrong, is there? He says. I mean, go do what you want over in Ireland. Bribes are growing more accepted, apparently. It's just a saying, though. I'm not going to worry too much about it. Apparently, I'm trying to improve relations in the Papal State, but I'm at war with them, so I'm just going to forget that. Uh, Golden Era for Castile. Their navy is up here, fighting the Scots. You really don't need to be. Uh, you really, really don't need to have your navy up here. That's mine now. Can't get any further, though, so... I'm going to have you guys take the 8 stack over here just to lessen the attrition burden. <coughs> Whoa! Where'd this... <laughs> okay. It's fine with me. Just slaughter some Scottish people. What are you doing? Are you at war with Scotland, are you? At war with Scotland? Scotlandia? Scotland, and then there's a little circle after the name. Which made me think there was an ear. Scotlandia. So, Naples just went and beat up the French army. <laughs> the French army. <laughs> oh, it's very funny. Right, are you guys ready yet? When you're ready, I want you to go and hunt pirates in the... No, 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 no. Hunt pirates in the North Sea. Not hunt pirates, sorry. Cancel mission. I want you to hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. There we go. Discovered an agent, apparently. I don't think there's too much to worry about. You're, we're only taking 1% attrition. Enhanced reputation? 
So I now have an extra Diplo rep, which is awesome. So now I'm three Diplo rep. Scotland is getting fucked. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Battle of Moray Firth. Oh, my fleets have started going ahead and killing things. Just gonna apparently captured a few barks there as well. Oh, they're adding to the attrition here, which is just not fair. There's 8,000 men down. I don't think they need my help, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, they've given me Paris! I'll keep up. Thank you, Naples. I think. Calais might get sieged down a little bit. Um, let's take this two-star general down to Sussex. I can have a new idea. I really would like it, but I also need to get to number seven admin. Uh, sure, Tyrone, you can have you can have some tech from not some some access from me. That's fine. I can't. I don't want the. Oh, actually, mm, still too far ahead on that. So I'm going to give London the uh, diplo increase twice over. Actually, London's now 33 developed, which is um, pretty good. Let's maintain Wicker Steel, because I do want them to like me a lot. What are you doing, Brandenburg? You're still sieging this down, are you? <laughs> right. Let's go over to uh, Calais. There we are. And then let's go down to Paris. I think the French army is actually just dead. No, they've got 30, you know, they've got something somewhere, right? They've got 13,000 men somewhere. Uh, split you in half, send you there, send you down to Nemers. There's 9,000 men down there, look. Have we sieged through this yet? Nearly. Scotland's trying to siege through my brand new castle down in Kildare. Or an offlay. <laughs> Go Castile. Vawa came up. Yeah, we now we now have these under occupation. And there, uh, go to Berry, uh, which I think is where their capital will be. Should they screw up enough, I'm gonna get it. Fifty-seven percent chance. Nope. Of course. Jeez, I, I keep opening videos saying, oh, it's going to be a quiet few videos while we recover and let our aggressive expansion go down. And then more more wars happen. We've got another naval victory up there. Some Norwegian separatists over there. So people are probably going to hate me as soon as I start converting to uh, Anglican. Uh, we'll let we'll let Na give Naples some uh, reinforcement here. Got another captured ships over there. We're going to have to go around and start selling some of these captured ships at some point. Am I going to get to there first? No, but I will get the siege. That's fine. I want water participation. 31%. See? I'm helping. Oh, Aragon wants to take Toulouse. They're using an Aragonese claim. We've got another fight happening down here. Maybe. Yeah, just fucking hell. This is a slaughter. We we got West March yet? Hey, there was West March got. Let's go to Lothian. How long is that going to take you to do? Let's go kill him. Kill, kill that Scottish army. Uh, oh, that's the end of the video. It's already been a very long video, so thank you for joining me. I'm going to stop there because it's wrecking my uh, my average upload time. Bye-bye. Give me a thumbs up for more war.